Use the best tool for the job. You probably heard that before, right? But how can we apply that to Ruby? Let's look at this code example. And it's a very simple method that we want to multiply a list of numbers by two. So to do that, we create an empty array. Then we go over each of the numbers with each. And we save the number times two because that's what we want to do. We want to multiply by two. And we save that into our results. And when we are done, we return the results. So that looks all fine and it works, but it can be improved a lot. How? Well, let me show you. If we use the map method, the map method and really does all of that for you. So it really creates the empty array, it returns it, it saves the items into the empty array. The only thing you have to do is tell it what to do with these items. So now we can remove that and we have much better code. How do we arrive here? Well, we arrive here by knowing more Ruby methods. So more examples of such methods will be methods like each with object, select, inject, partition, group by, most of these are innumerable methods when you are working with things like arrays and hashes. But if you're working with some other class, then you want to check the documentation for that class and see what methods can improve your code.